Hello dear students. Assalamualaikum. I am Cikgu Zana. Thank you for joining my channel. In the previous video, I have shared two techniques of integration. Integration by substitution. Integration by parts. So for today, I'll be sharing on how to integrate by partial fractions. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell for further notification of my new release video. Okay, shall we begin? Integration by partial fractions can be used for integrating rational functions which are not in the form f prime x over f of x. In this lesson, we will integrate rational function that has denominators with linear factors, repeated linear factors, quadratic prime factors, and denominator with degree less than or equal to the numerator by means of decomposition into partial fractions and then integrate using the rules of integration. Let's look at the first example where the rational function has denominator with two linear factors x plus 3, 4 minus x. To express in partial fraction, for each linear factor, there is a corresponding partial fraction of the form a over x plus 3 plus b over 4 minus x. Multiplying both sides by the expression, we have the following equation. Substitute x equals negative 3 into the equation to find the value of a. Substitute x equals 4 into the equation to find the value of b. Thus, the partial fractions of the rational function is 2 over 7 times 4 minus x minus 5 over 7 times x plus 3. Since the rational function has been decomposed into partial fractions, we can now integrate using the rule of integration. The integral where the numerator is the derivative of the denominator is ln f of x plus c. So rewrite the function such that the numerator is the derivative of the denominator. We have For the first partial fraction, the derivative of 4 minus x is negative 1. Thus, 2 over 7 must be a negative value so that it must be the same as the original partial fraction. For the second partial fraction, the derivative of x plus 3 is 1. And we only need to bring out 5 over 7 in front of the integral. Thus, the integral of the function is taking out the common factor, applying the laws of logarithm of power, and applying the laws of logarithm for product, we have the final answer, negative 1 over 7 in the square brackets, ln 4 minus x the whole thing squared times x plus 3 the whole thing to the power of 5 plus c. In this example, the denominator is a quadratic factor that can be factorized. So 
Factorizing the denominator of the function, it consists of two linear factors, 3 minus 2x and 3 plus 2x. So the partial fraction is of the form multiplying both sides by the expression to obtain the equation. Substitute x equals 3 over 2 to find the value of a. Substitute x equals negative 3 over 2 into the equation to find the value of b. Thus, the partial fraction is 1 over 6 times 3 minus 2x plus 1 over 6 times 3 plus 2x. We can now integrate using the rule. But first, we have to rewrite the function such that the numerator is the derivative of the denominator. Simplifying, integrating, taking out the common factor, apply the logarithmic loss of quotient, to simplify, the final answer is 1 over 12 log modulus 3 plus 2x divided by 3 minus 2x plus c. There's an alternative method which is easier, which is using the formula method. Provided that you can memorize the formula and know when to use it. So first, we must rewrite the denominator of the rational function so that it must be in the same form as in the formula. That is, the coefficient of x squared must be equal to 1. So taking out the constant 4, we are left in the brackets 9 over 4 minus x squared. Thus, the value of a is 3 over 2. So substitute a 3 over 2 into the formula, we have Simplifying, we have 1 over 4 times 1 over 3 ln in modulus 3 plus 2x over 2 divided by 3 minus 2x over 2 plus c Simplifying further, the final answer is 1 over 12 ln modulus 3 plus 2x over 3 minus 2x plus C. Now, there is another formula where we can use to find the integral of this rational function. But here, the denominator is of the form x squared minus a squared. So, rewrite the denominator of the function so as it is the same form as in the formula. So, taking 16 out, we are left in the brackets x squared minus 1 over 16. Thus, the value of a is 1 over 4. Substitute a equals 1 over 4 into the formula. Simplifying, we have 1 over 16 times 2 log in modulus 4x minus 1 over 4 divided by 4x plus 1 over 4 plus c. And simplifying further, the final answer is 1 over 8 log in modulus 4x minus 1 divided by 4x plus 1 plus c. Please take note, this formula method can only be used for rational functions of this form. Integral of 1 over a squared minus x squared or the integral of 1 over x squared minus a squared. Next example is to integrate the rational function which has a denominator with repeated linear factors. Since the linear factor x minus 2 is repeated twice, then there will be two partial fractions of the form a over x minus 2 plus b over x minus 2 the whole thing squared. 
Multiplying both sides by x minus 2 the whole thing squared, we have the equation. Substitute x equal to into the equation to find the value of b. Substitute x equal 3 into the equation and substitute the value of b which is 2. The value of a is 1. Thus, the partial fraction of the function is 1 over x minus 2 plus 2 over x minus 2 the whole thing squared. The partial fractions can be integrated by applying the following integration rules. For the first partial fraction, apply the rule where the numerator is the derivative of the denominator. And the composite rule for the second partial fraction is applied. So the integral of the function is simplifying our final answer is ln in modulus x minus 2 minus 2 over x minus 2 plus c. Let's try to integrate rational function that has denominator with prime quadratic factors. In this example, the denominator consists of a linear factor and a prime quadratic factor. So for the linear factor, the partial fraction is of the form a over x and for the irreducible quadratic factor, the partial fraction is of the form bx plus c divided by x squared plus 4. Multiplying both sides by x times in brackets x squared plus 4, we have the equation. Substitute x equals 0 into the equation to find the value of a. Equate the coefficient of x squared. Substitute the value of a to find the value of b. Equate the coefficient of x. The value of c is 0. Thus, the partial fraction of the function is 1 over 4x minus x over 4 times in brackets x squared plus 4. Integrate the partial fraction separately. So for the first partial fraction, we use this rule. And for the second partial fraction, we use the rule where the numerator is the derivative of the denominator. And we have simplifying by taking out the common factor using the loss of logarithm of power and the logarithmic loss of quotient the final answer is 1 over 8 ln in modulus x squared over x squared plus 4 plus c here is an example to integrate improper fraction where the degree of the denominator is less than the numerator. In this example, the numerator is of degree 2, while the denominator is of degree 1. For improper fraction, we need to convert into proper fractions. Using long division, the quotient is a polynomial of degree 1, and the remainder forms a partial fraction 4 over 2x minus 1. Integrating separately, the integral of the polynomial is and the integral of the partial fraction, we apply the rules of integration we have. Thus, the final answer is x squared over 2 plus x plus 2 ln in modulus 2x minus 1 plus c. Next, the same process is used to integrate improper fraction where the degree of the denominator and the numerator are equal. 
first convert to proper fractions. Using long division, the quotient is a constant half and the remainder forms a partial fraction negative 3 over 2 times in bracket 2x plus 1. Integrate separately and apply the rule of integration for the partial fraction. Thus, we have the final answer as x over 2 minus 3 over 4 ln in modulus 2x plus 1 plus c. Summary of today's lesson Integrating a rational function known in the form f prime x over f of x can be done by decomposing the function into the following partial fractions that has the following form Linear factors Repeated linear factors Quadratic prime factors and for improper fractions with denominator with degree less than or equal to the numerator, we need to convert to proper fraction. And here are the summary of the rules of integration which can be applied to integrate the partial fractions. That's about all, so I end this lesson with a saying, practice makes perfect. Please do visit my channel for more video lesson. Till then, bye for now and see you again in my next video.